Hello, my name is Dr. Dominic Nischitz. I'm a specialist in biological dentistry and ceramic implants. Everybody calls me Dr. Domin. This video is about metals in your mouth. So from a yeah, craftsman point of view, we are installing as a dentist a lot of metals, like different metals in your mouth, just for function, so that you can bite actually. And the problem here is that metals could be toxic, like the amalgam everybody knows about, but it also could be immuno immunological disruptive, meaning your immune system gets intolerant and gets problems, like with gold or nickel or something like that. And it, there's also a third component, which is the electromagnetic component. So in nowadays, where we have Wi-Fi and um, cellular phones everywhere, you can't avoid all these electromagnetic fields. And every metal in your mouth, even if it's just like particles left over from amalgam, like mercury, act as an as a small antenna and can disrupt your all your overall system and make you electrosensitive. This also counts for titanium implants. That's why we don't use any metals and remove all metals under special precautions. Uh, in particular, if you have to remove amalgam fillings, which are very toxic because of their high component of mercury in there, like 50%, we use five to six fold measurements to help your body not yeah, get in contact with this toxic mercury vapor, which is a rubber dam, a special suction called the cleanup device, a, um, we will blast some oxygen into your nose, you will have a gold mask, and also there is a, an, a device called the IQ Air, which is like a big, yeah, huge suction li right next to you. So we, we are avoiding all these toxins. And of course, we use IVs and pre and <coughs> post operative protocol also with, with nutrients. It's the detox protocol. So in summary, metals are problematic because they could be toxic. They could be immunological active. Yeah. Or both. And also there's always this electromagnetic component being like an antennae. So if you want to avoid that, there are better ways. We use full ceramics and no metals in the biological industry. That's it for now. Over and out. Dr. Domen.